All right, guys, so we are back at the hospital. This time we're staying and we are not leaving without an extra person with us. So we will not be leaving until we have a baby. So we are here to stay and we'll see how long it takes for this little guy to come, but wish us luck. They got my IV in, but she leaked a little bit. So if you can see on my <laughs> finger there, she said she got a good vein though. So dad went and raided the pantry here at the hospital and look what he brought in for me. And if the girls were here and knew that we were eating popsicles without them, they would not be happy. They'd be missing out. It's pretty good though. They're delicious. Mmm. Still waiting for the baby though. All right, so this is our awesome room for the next little bit, however many hours. This is my awesome couch bed over there, my chair, my wife. If you decide to stay the night, <laughs> that's where you sleep. We'll see if I stay the night. I don't know if that's going to happen. I might have to get back with Trin and Madison and take care of them tonight. They'll be, they'll be worried without their mom, but if they don't have their mom or dad, then it's going to be bad. All right, guys, so once the baby's born, this is where they're going to go ahead and set him so they can weigh him, measure him. He's got a nice heat lamp up here to make sure he stays warm. See how long he is. This is gonna be his little bed for a little bit. But I have my epidural now, but I'm still feeling some stuff. So over here, I have a handy little, where is it at? My little green light. And if I feel like I need more medicine, then all I have to do is push that. Then I can just get as much nummy medicine as I want. So I might need to push that soon because I'm, I'm feeling some pressure even with the epidural in. And here's the monitor showing each of the contractions and how strong they are. Each of these are a minute. So they're like, what, two and a half, three minutes. Oh, another one's coming. Another one's coming. Ooh, it's getting stronger. Oh, it's stronger than the last one. Oh, it's still going up. Oh, man. I can feel it. That one. I can feel that uh -oh. one. It's, oh, Ooh. it's peaking. Oh. oh my goodness. All right. Oh no, it went up again. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, now it's dropping. Oh, it's going down. It's going down. Oh, How's that one? That was a good one. It's not painful. It's just a lot of pressure. Whew. That was a good one though. <laughs> I might need to push that button. <laughs> I so they've just got one belly band on to monitor baby's heart rate. So baby still has an arrhythmia, so they've let the cardiologist know. And once he's born, then at least sometime before we leave the hospital, they're going to come do an EKG on him. So they'll actually get to monitor his heart rate a little better. Um, but yeah, so far it's staying the same, which is good. In case you guys were wondering, this is a fish fin. There's a fish. There's a fish. Ow! See, I feel Ooh. this one. Oh, there's another one already? It's going up. Ow! Oh. You guys, it's only been like a minute. Look at that. That one didn't even drop all the way down. Like, they're down here. That one only okay. didn't even drop. I gotta push this thing again. Ooh! Maybe baby's coming. Oh, let's see if it goes up even higher. No, it's slowing down. My goodness. Oh, I she's pushed it. Pushing the button. Oh, I pushed it's it. Flashing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not painful, just a lot of pressure. But my goodness. Oh. All right, so what's that? Like a minute and a half? All right, so how far should they be apart when you're going to be like having the baby? I don't remember. But like textbook, you know, they always tell you when to come into the hospital textbook stuff is always every three to five minutes. Okay, well you're like one and a half. But I'm one, I don't know. <laughs> okay. But they said even with the epidural, I should still feel the urge to push. So when I feel that urge to push, then it's time. But I don't know. We'll see when the next one comes. All right. So all of a sudden we have this loud beeping. We don't know what it's for. I broke something. <laughs> so I think uh, I Cassie's think hitting that button one or two too many times. 
Maybe. Could be, huh? Call him? Yeah. Boop. Fist machine. Don't know what it is. It's got her fluids. It's beeping. I think she's using too much of that epidural. If I am, it's Can I help you? Um, one of these machines in here started beeping. So okay, I'll let your nurse know. Okay. All right, hopefully they come and stop the beeping. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> so a nurse came in, she stopped the beeping. Apparently it was uh, her bag of fluids is only has an hour left, but hopefully the baby should be here by then. So the nurse came in and checked and I am at a 10, which is why I'm feeling all that pressure despite the epidural being in. She says at this point, no matter how many times I press that button, it's not gonna do anything at this point. So all we have to do at this point is wait. The nurse told Cassie not to push because if she pushes now, the baby might come, but we're waiting on the doctor. So no pushing. Okay. <laughs> no pushing. Okay. Was he moving? He was moving. And I, of course, every time I mention it, then he stops. Otherwise you could see this thing moving around. Maybe if you stare long enough, it'll happen. <laughs> All right, so we've been here for about four and a half, five hours now, and we still haven't checked in and talked to the girls yet, so I'm just gonna call Trina Madison and see how everyone's doing back at home. We'll call me in just a second. <laughs> Whew. Mm. Okay. Hello. Hi. You back at the house? Yeah, we're just, just getting groceries and stuff put out. Okay. Do well, you girls want to come sit in here and talk to your mom? Yeah, I wanted to talk to him really quick. Um, Madison, come here, hurry. Anyway, I was feeling a lot of pressure, and so I called the nurse in. And she uh -huh. says I'm out of 10 right now, so she's going to go find... Oh, you're ready to start pushing. Well, as soon as the doctor comes in, so... Okay. Yeah. All right, well, I put you on speaker, and your girls are both here. My kids need to be quiet. Okay, hi, girls. Hi, Mom. Hi. Mommy, I'm just going to come home right now. Oh. Good to see you at 7 of getting the baby out, but when are you at now? Mommy's at a 10, and you know what that means? What? It's that means baby time. It's baby time, and Mommy can start pushing in a few minutes. She just has to push really hard, and the baby will be here really soon. We just got to wait for the doctor. Yeah. For one day. Are you staying for one day or two days? It, we'll see what the doctors say. If the baby's doing good, we'll see if I can come home maybe tomorrow night, okay? Okay. Are you girls being good? Yep, yeah. Okay. I miss you. I love you. Girls, you don't want us coming home right now. You want us waiting and coming home with the baby, right? Yeah. All right. Can then we'll be home. Can you show a picture of the baby when it's born? Uh, yes. We will send you a picture when it's born. And then you can come and see him. Okay? And tell us his name, okay? <gasps> and tell us... Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right, guys. Nobody <laughs> knows the name of this baby. We don't even know. We told the nurse <laughs> that we'll probably figure out the name when we have to, like, sign its name to leave the hospital. So, <laughs> we don't know yet. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure out a name. And show us a picture, okay? Okay, honey. Bye, Mommy. Bye, Madison. I love you. <laughs> Oh, baby, mommy. Miss right. you. Well, good luck. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Okay, love you, girls. Bye. 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 Bye, mommy. Bye. Bye. Okay, I'm hanging up. Bye, <laughs> Bye baby. <laughs> Bye, baby. Oh man. All right, it's about time, guys. Eight. Nine, ten, nice and easy. There we go. Quarter around the neck. Heads out. Baby, bow. Bow, 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 b